Hey, what's good, fellas? It's another continuous cycle of the calendar will bring back to January, though this time we will be met with a new year, 2023. This year was kind of the best, both personally and in this approach. Many of you were aware of my anticipated withdrawal from the community where making colors move on a static frame built tension for about a year now, and Hegemony's completion in September took off a load on my back now that I can fully in my IRL life. I have stated these reasons many times as well as my 1k special. For those that don't know, I moved on from spending time on this hobby because like, you know, four years is kind of too much and to be honest, I find it immature. That's my take. Anyway, besides my departure, I've also left a few scrap projects that never saw the light at the end of the tunnel, which is both a sad and good thing since there's less cringe to be shown, but never to be seen as pretty anticlimactic considering the ideas I invested in them. By any climatic, they were pure LRB ideas dating back to my Hobbit Double Hole in 2020. Now, uh, I'm not fully aware of what I've told you guys about it before. Maybe in my long gone server, I scattered a few details about a video on the Balkan Wars that I was never able to complete because I put my Cold War World War III scenario as my top priority, and I really needed that out of the way. However, making Blockbuster Lab requires a pretty good break, and by then I already had a new plan in mind which was the beginning of my icon, Hegemony. As you've seen, like many projects tossed aside, Hegemony became the new spectacle for the channel, and each episode coming out made it clear that I would not be able to finish the other projects, like the Balkan Wars. There were some projects that I planned on making but never got into the production phase. If you stuck around since the time of Alexander, I would have chatted non-stop about these plans. As far as I remember, I planned to make the Ogaden War, the Cuban Equatorial Guinea, uh, the Football War, the Mexican-American War. There's a lot that comes back to my recollection, but you get the idea. I put what I vowed as bigger projects before these smaller ones. So uh, based on my content, I splashed my time making alternative LARP, and it opens a lot of doors to where I can navigate these things. So you see that I wasn't really willing to keep pushing out the actual history of things. Also, uh, is it just me or do people that actually watch this stuff pay attention to the text box or just the frames? Because if so, that's an L to all the research. I ain't gonna lie. Remember this? I guess very few did, but this was an uncoordinated collab that I wouldn't call a collab. Probably toilet paper. About this little guy, there was no script, no direction, and a lack of communication. If you're this dude, you finna know what I mean. It was a mess, man, and I'm glad that's all in the past. I could ramble on and on for hours about my unfinished projects, so this last one is kind of pretty special. It was considered the hegemony before hegemony because it was what I took time into doing before getting into smaller projects like I mentioned earlier. So our uh, here is a World War Four scenario in the universe called Verity, contiguous to the World War Three scenario I made in 2019. I made many hints of this project in early 2020, waiting for the surprise that just never came. I heard your feelings, nothing personal, just put some ice on it. I had everything planned for this universe post 2100, but I couldn't decide for the climax. It was either the defeat or victory of China. The defeat of China would come with the second American civil war and the resurgence of Russia as a superpower. It uncannily resembles the first world war 200 years prior, but I felt the need to cause cross reference things for fun. The victory of the Chinese would result in the same as the first, except China becomes the sole superpower re-establishing their status as the greatest state. This is something that I wish I could have completed, but again, time for that is long gone and I'm no willing to, longer willing to return to my past. <sighs> that ended on a good note. Uh, this should make it clear that my shine is no longer coming back and all doubt you may have had for the past two years are true. Please end the false rallying, I mean it. I wish you all a happy new year and the best of luck in 2023. Peace out.